We can't yet predict earthquakes, but we may be able to detect their first shakes early enough to save ourselves. Let's say this pomelo is the Earth. The Earth's crust is made up of tectonic plates, and when they move against each other, they create vibrations, seismic waves, that ripple through the planet. These vibrations are captured on seismograms. P waves, which doesn't stand for pomelo but does stand for primary, move rapidly away from the fault through the crust, followed by slower, more violent secondary or S waves, and then rolling surface waves. The difference in speed between these waves is what makes warnings possible. Earthquake early warning systems rely on a network of seismic sensors that catch the first signs of a P wave. When they detect one, they transmit that information to a processing center and send out warnings, ideally before the S waves hit. The amount of warning time depends on a few factors, like the distribution of seismic sensors and the location of the quake's origin relative to where people live. The residents of Mexico City, for example, can hope for more than a minute of warning before the shaking starts. That's because earthquakes typically happen along the Middle American subduction zone off the western coast of Mexico, where the Cocos Plate is sliding under the North American Plate. Heading north, things in California get a bit more complicated. The San Andreas Fault Zone, where the Pacific and North American plates are sliding past each other, runs about 800 miles right through the state. Millions of people live along the fault. For people living right next to an earthquake's epicenter on the fault, S waves arrive immediately after the P waves, leaving no time for a warning. People further away from the rupturing fault will have more warning before serious shaking begins. So if you detect a P wave, duck, cover, and hold on to your pomelo. Some S waves are on the way. For Scientific American, I'm Kelsey Kennedy.